what's up everyone and welcome to another video and as you know this past weekend New York Comic Con happened I went there I had a good old time all three days I went Friday Saturday and Sunday I walked around a lot I saw a lot of really cool cosplays and you know other things and I acquired a lot of swag <laughs> a lot of swag and I bought a lot of things there so this video is to pretty much show you what I got at New York Comic Con and along the way I'll probably talk about what I did so this is a what I did and got at New York Comic Con video so let's get started all right <sighs> how, how do I start uh, let's start off with all the things that people started to hand out to me because as you know if you went to a convention before you'll be walking around and then I don't know where people's like hey here take one of our cards or something and then you know you have to lug that shit around everywhere and I've I probably I probably got handed things about 25 times uh, throughout the entire weekend which isn't that many times but still uh, I got a lot of stuff that they just started handing out to me so here's a bunch of the stuff I have more stuff later on most likely but this is just a batch of the things I got I guess you could say it's free advertisement, but, uh, whatevs. Well, first of all, here's my, uh, badge if you want to see it. If you want proof that I went, there you go. There you go, you got the governor looking at all of his, uh, heads. If you saw Walking Dead, season three, you'd, you'd understand. Alright, so here's a bunch of friggin' cards I got. First thing I got, uh, Rocky Spirit. Don't know what that is. I think it's like a play. Uh, or maybe it's a book, I'm not really sure. Uh... Probably says around the card. That's my ticket for the train. Zen, the Path of the Samurai. Not really sure what that is. There you go. Dead Rising 3, free comic. It's just an advertisement for a free comic. If you want the comic, go to that URL. Uh, it's uh, marvel.com slash deadrising3. It's free for everybody. I'm pretty sure at least. Uh, this is Midtown Comics, which is 20% off if you went there. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a sticker for Magnet, which is a distribution service, which uh, usually distributes a lot of very small, uh, like, indie horror films. I think they distribute the VHS films. Uh, uh, ABCs of Death, I'm pretty sure they did. A bunch of really small horror or sci-fi themed movies. Um... What's this? In the beginning, the epic of the Anun Anunnaki? <laughs> the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki. I don't know what that is. I don't even remember getting handed that. Uh, the hell is this? I don't remember this either. E N I or J? I can't tell. E N I, I think. Puzzles solution guide. Here's a solution. You can't see it though. Uh, I got two advertisements for Psychic Ruby, who is a psychic who is there for some reason, because you know New York Comic Con, comics, games, movies, television shows, psychics. Uh, what is this? Uh, DW Comics, another comics, uh, advertisement. On the other side, it shows a bunch of comics. There you go. This is, uh, oh, this is a, a card for a place I actually bought stuff at, which I'll show you later. This is, what's it called? Ghostfire.net, which I will talk about later, but I'm going to tell you right now. Definitely go visit that website. Really good art. Um, here you go. Julia Lich Lichty? Lichty. Uh, that's who made the art. Uh, let me see. Uh, Pigfish, which is an advertisement for a free-to-play game on, I guess, yeah, the App Store right now on iPhone and Android. Uh, Pigfish. Don't know if it's good, but uh, it, was, it was there. Um, Head Smash. Come to the come to the booth number six forty seven and you might be entered for a contest. That's what it says at the, in the bot uh, in the back, but I didn't really do it, so I'm not entered. Um, and this is a little uh, thing you could pick up while you're there. It just tells you where all the booths are and stuff. The block. I'm pretty sure. It gives you a little map too and tells you who's there. Uh, so I think that's about it. Also, I got this. Uh, I forgot what they call these. They're just the magazine that tells you pretty much who are the big special guests and it even gives you a map so it's a very very much like the block manual but this one tells you a little bit more. I forgot which, what this is called. Uh, they have a, a name for it. They probably say it right on here too. Uh, uh, no. I forgot what they call these but uh, 
program guide. There you go, program. That's what they call it. It says right on the side. Uh, so there you go. It was uh, Avengers themed, as you would expect for Comic Con, uh, which. You know, most of the time, at least New York Comic Con, they uh, do Walking Dead, but, you know, for something that's supposed to be for everybody, I guess you can't really put a bunch of zombies eating a dude. Uh, makes sense. Um, now, uh, oh, I actually have more. I forgot. Uh, these are posters that I kept getting handed, and if you were at New York Comic Con, most likely you got, you, you got handed these posters as well. This was for the Dark Universe, which I don't know what the hell it is, but it was narrated by some dude. Uh, there was a line for it. I think you could actually go and like experience it at New York Comic Con. But uh, I got one. Two. And three posters. I actually had more, but I threw, uh, I threw a couple of them out. I had about six all together. Uh, I kept getting handed them, and for some reason I just kept saying, Okay. <laughs> So I don't know why. Uh, so I think that's about it. So that's all the uh, things I got handed to. You know, like st stuff people handed me at New York Comic Con. I think there's a couple more things, but uh, I'll show those later. But now let's talk about the the swag I either bought or I received throughout the throughout the convention. So first thing I got was actually literally the first thing I got was I went to the Ubisoft. Uh, booth which uh I've, like if, if you went to new york comic con the past two years they do this all the time ubisoft has a thing where if you pre-order at new york comic con they'll give you a bunch of really cool swag mostly mostly t-shirts but last year uh i think i yeah i do last year if you pre-order far cry 3 you can get this little glass if you can see it has a bunch of warheads in it uh, and a bunch of other stuff, a bunch of shirts. Uh, and I did it because I, you know, if you pre-order it on Amazon, you could pretty much cancel it right after you're done. It's very simple and you don't get charged at all. So I did that and I got a South Park figure for pre-ordering the new South Park game, which is a Cartman. He has his little staff. Pretty cool figure. Actually, really cool. Uh, I think his head pops off too. Eh, there you go. He has no head. There you go. Just cut his fucking head off. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it just pops right back on. At least I hope so. Well, I'll figure it out later. Uh, <laughs> at least I hope so. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah, I got it. Okay, here you go. There you go. Uh, I got that. What else did I get? I got a bunch of t-shirts also. Uh, not that one. Uh, I got this one for pre-ordering. I think this is Watch Dogs. Yeah, it says right on the back. This one for Watch Dogs, which this is only a 1X, which will not fit me. But hey, it's free, so I didn't care. That's it, and it says Watch Dogs on the back. Nothing else. There's nothing else on it, so I didn't really show the whole shirt. There you go. It says Ubisoft on the back also. Um, that's for Watch Dogs, which of course got delayed. Uh, which is funny because they had a whole big booth there for Watch Dogs. You can go and like watch gameplay and they're advertising it like, oh, it's coming out. And then like two days later, no, it's it's coming out maybe <laughs> later. Um, which one is this? No, that one's not the one I want to show. Uh, I pre-ordered The Crew and got this shirt, which also got delayed. Uh, People forget that the crew also got delayed. This was supposed to come out in, I think, February, and now it's coming out it's pretty much the same time as Watch Dogs, around April next year. So, yeah. And I meant February of next year, of course. Um, and this is for, if I remember, Assassin's Creed. It is. So I pre ordered Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which luckily isn't getting delayed, because I'm actually looking forward to it. There you go. That one's pretty good. Again, I can't wear these, but that's fine. It's not, like, the most amazing uh, designs on them. Very simple. That's good enough. That aight. That aight. Alright, so uh, that's all the stuff I got for free at the Ubisoft uh, booth. Uh, next thing, I walked around and I found a little shop that was selling a bunch of Breaking Bad things. And of course, if you do not know, I, I love Breaking Bad. Uh, I only started watching it a couple months ago, but I do, in fact, love Breaking Bad. So, they are selling Breaking Bad stuff. And they only had one thing left. They sold out really quick. Bobbleheads, uh, different figures and stuff. And they only had one left. And it was a Heisenberg figure. It was this one. So, here you go. Pretty nice little figure. It was 20 bucks though. But it's a very nice, well-detailed figure, if you can tell. Really good. Uh, his hat actually comes off. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, and guess what? Oh, sunglasses come off too. There's Walter White. There's Brian Cranston. Uh, there's Lex Luthor. There's uh, the, the bad guy from Total Recall. There's a... Uh, John Carter guy. I don't know. Uh, I can't remember where. Oh, there's Argo guy. There you go. Argo guy. So, uh, very well detailed. And also came with a... Uh, he's holding a gun, by the way. His snub nose revolver. Um, and he's holding... He can hold this if you want. Which is the bag of money that uh, Tuco gave him. And his, of course, crystal meth. His blue. His blue stuff. So, you can put that in his hand or something. I'm not going to do it because it's kind of annoying, but I'll put the bag in his hand, because, uh, bag's pretty cool. There you go. It's just like, yeah, you know, whatever. Money, money, money. Uh, so, you know what, let me put him in the background. From right, from right there. There you go. Can you see him? I think you can. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, oh, I saw, I got, here's the lanyard for this year. I dropped that. Oops. Whatever. Uh, so anyway, there you go. There was Breaking Bad. Um, Next thing I got, uh, this, this one was very weird. I wasn't actually going to get it at first, but I was like, you know what? Whatever, screw it. And I bought it. This is a little strange, uh, but it's actually kind of cool. It's called, and don't laugh when you see it. It's called the Sonic Pod. Now, it, yes, I know what it looks like. It looks like a very, it looks like a, uh, a snubby little dildo, but um, it's not. I've tried. It's not. It's not. It's not fun. Now, I tried. <laughs> now, this is the thing that will not def that will not help my argument. This thing vibrates a lot. Now, you're probably going, "What the hell is it? <laughs> it vibrates. It's a little snubby thing. Are you sure it's not a dildo? I'm still not completely sure, but it connects to an iPod, an iPad, whatever, anything that has an audio jack. And you can play music into this thing. It has a speaker, as you can see right here. And it plays music out. But the thing is, is that you pop this thing off right here. It has adhesive on this little black thing. And you stick it onto a wall or a box or something. And it automatically uses vibrations. Really, really, really like rough vibrations into the wall. And, or whatever you stick it onto. And it creates a pretty much a... a Pretty much a speaker out of pretty much anything. And at first I was like, uh, that doesn't, that seems kind of stupid. But then someone demonstrated it and it actually did work. And then I was like, you know what, fine, I'll buy it. I bought it, it was like 20 bucks, and it works. It definitely works. I put this shit on like a, a box I had for uh, something else I bought. And it was really loud and it worked. It, it really did. Uh, I could tell it worked because in Comic Con they demonstrated it and it was loud as hell. Not the thing, but it was loud in the actual convention, and I could hear everything that the music was, you know, saying, whatever. Uh, it, it was really cool, I bought it, and it's actually pretty cool. I, I like it, even though it's, uh, <laughs> awkwardly shaped. Um, but, and it vibrates, so that doesn't help. But, it's cool, I like it. Um, Sonic Pod. Whatevs. Um, <laughs> no, it, it actually is really cool. Um, what else did I get? That's pretty much it. Oh, actually... One last thing before I get to the art that I got. I got a brand new sword. As you know, I get brand new swords. I guess, well, brand new either knives or swords every year that I go to a convention. I have to at least get one. So this year I got a sword like I did last year. And this one I had to get. It was 25 bucks, not bad for a sword. It was very well made. And of course, once you see it, you'll know what it is. It's... It's the Master Sword. Look. Oh. What? Zelda? I'm here, baby. What? Da, 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 da. That's me. That's Legend of Zelda. I'm, the, I'm Linky. Uh, that's me. So here you go. It's actually a pretty nice sword for the most part. Uh, it's shiny. It's sharp. Um, I like it. So uh, I bought it. It was 25 bucks. I like swords. And, you know, the further... Uh, to further prove I am a nerd, I, I got a sword that is based on a video game so i hope you uh i hope you enjoyed me showing you that but uh it's actually a really cool show sword it is uh, 25 bucks not bad um there you go i was actually very surprised to find it for 25 bucks so there you go almost forgot about that so there you go put that motherfucker back all right so now let's get into the meat of 
this, which is all of the comic books and pieces of art that I got because I got a lot of that. So, oh, actually, I got one other thing, which kind of counts towards the art, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, yeah, let's start. Uh, if you if you're wondering why I seem a little weird in this video, I'm actually kind of tired. I don't really feel that great. Uh, <laughs> I really don't. You can tell because I I'm running out of breath real quick. That's because I don't feel good, uh, and because I'm over overweight, uh, which I am. If you can't tell, um, I don't know what to show first. You know, I'll show this stuff first. All right, get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. Okay, so remember when I, when I told you about that uh, that woman that makes all the really cool art on that card? Let me get it one more time. I should have kept it around close so I didn't lose it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, boy. Where is it? <laughs> well, anyway, you know who I'm talking about most likely. I said, oh, here it is. I found it. Uh, Ghostfire.net. I bought two two pieces of art from them and they were really cool pieces of art I had to get it they were Bioshock Infinite related items and oh boy did I get a lot of Bioshock Infinite related items <laughs> this year oh boy last year I wanted to get a couple of things but I didn't uh, because they didn't have anything now seeing that the game was released and everybody loves it they started making like pieces of art and t-shirts and whatnot all these little figures and whatnot so they had a lot of Bioshock Infinite stuff there so I bought a lot of stuff so again here we go here's the card because I got two pieces of art for Bioshock Infinite I already uh, framed these but these are awesome the first one was this one which I already framed this one's Elizabeth at the lighthouse Grabbing Booker's hand, it's a, a depiction of, I don't want to spoil it, but it's later towards, uh, later in the game, I'll just say, but uh, here you go, nice art, it's uh, definitely original, she didn't take this from a game, she made this herself, and I thought that was really awesome, I was like, oh, I gotta get that, so that's an awesome uh, picture, definitely really uh, good looking in a, a picture frame. Next is... This one, which I think this one's really awesome because it shows everybody as Elizabeth, as the Lutes twins, as Booker, as Comstock, as Songbird, pretty much everybody. It's missing a couple people, but uh, all the main characters are there. Uh, really awesome design, really good. I'm trying to get the reflection not to show. We got Songbird, we got some American flags, you know, patriotic, just for all you patriotic people like me, you know. It's a great little picture. I'm going to put that somewhere somewhere uh don't know where yet uh, put these away somewhere uh boom right there okay those are awesome so everybody go to ghostfire.net you can get really really high quality pictures like that for like 10 bucks for each one of those not bad for you know original art in a high quality picture like it, it's actually like pretty much uh i don't know what it's called but it's very sh like a shiny picture it's very uh it's 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 good. It's just high quality. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Very high quality stuff. So definitely go there. Um, next thing I got, it was only ten bucks, and this is pretty old considering the movie is about five years old now. It's actually a little over five years old. Um, and I love this movie, so I had to get this. It was only ten bucks. It was actually originally thirty-five, but Sunday they brought the price down. I bought it. The Dark Knight. Complete, I'm sorry, featuring production art and full shooting script. So that means it has a lot of production art and then it has the entire script. Which I was on the train ride home and I looked through a bunch of stuff and I was like, wow, this stuff is really cool. First of all, the script is very interesting to read. You know, seeing that, you know, you're, you're, you're taking away from the movie. You can read it and see if it's actually a really good script. Read through a lot of it and it is a very good script. Like, I, I knew it was, but I thought maybe, you know, the actors are really selling it. It's a really good uh, script. And uh, it's really cool that they did that. They put it in a big hardcover book like this. Uh, I think you can get this for about 10 bucks on Amazon or whatnot. It's pretty old right now. And also, more than half of it is just the script. So if you don't really care about the script... It's a little disappointing production art wise, but when it gets to the script, it's really cool. Um, here's the back. You got uh, him and his uh, motorcycle tumbler. Um, and when you take this off, which I think this is really cool, it has, of course, Joker, 
which that's awesome looking, very high quality. And then you have Batman. And then on the side you have uh, there. So actually I think this looks better than that boring white uh, sleeve book thing. But that's usually the case. They always like try to make the actual book art on the actual book, not the freaking sleeve thing, better than the actual sleeve thing. Because the sleeve thing can get ripped apart and whatnot. And this really can't, you know, unless you're really bad with taking care of your stuff. That can get ripped, you know, kind of easily. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's great. Uh, I guess I'll show you a little bit. Uh, here you go. There's a little bit. Gonna uh, skip ahead a little bit. There you go. Uh, here is how they do the script. They put little pictures to tell you what scene is which because, uh, you know, I've seen this movie about 15 times, so I'll definitely recognize the scene either way, even if I read the script or not. But having little pictures just to tell you are kind of cool. Um, so there you go. That was a Dark Knight book. Really cool. Really, really happy I bought that. For 10 bucks, not bad. Okay, so next let's go back to, you know what? Let me show you these t-shirts I got. All right. This is Bioshock Infinite related. There was this, uh, I didn't get a card from them, but I think it's called We, oh uh, no, it, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called wherethegames.com, wherethegames.com. They put a lot of game related items on t-shirts and hats and whatnot. So I bought two t-shirts, 35 bucks uh, all together. If you buy two, it's 35 bucks. And I bought two shirts. I bought this one, which is, uh, of course, Bioshock related. This is Songbird. Uh, what does it say? It says, Songbird. One friend, one protector, one jailer. The true patriot has nothing to face from the songbird. That's what it says. I can read upside down. Don't make fun of me. Alright, here you go. Awesome shirt, really good. Uh, and I also got another Bioshock Infinite related one, which I wore a couple times so far. Uh, if you saw my review for Machete Kills and... What was the other one? Uh, Captain Phillips. And if you saw my unboxings yesterday, then you saw me wearing this shirt. This is a Bioshock Infinite one again. And it has Elizabeth and Booker just chilling, looking at something. Booker's like, hey, I'm pointing a gun at someone. And, and Elizabeth's like, oh, no. And uh, there you go. That's a really awesome shirt. It says Columbia on the, uh, on the bottom. Really awesome shirt. You'll be seeing me wear these way more in the future. I'm so happy I finally got some Bioshock Infinite related uh, shirts. So there you go. Um, there you go. Those are the t-shirts. Uh, Those are the t-shirts. Um, next, let's go on to more art because I got a lot more. Oh boy. Okay. Next is this bag right here, which uh, doesn't have a name on it, but uh, whatever. This one. Let me move this. Oh, and this. And these. Alright, so anyway, this store I went to, they had, uh, this booth I went to, they had a bunch of posters, five bucks each. Okay, just making sure we're still recording. Uh, okay, I'm going to be talking to myself. No, at five bucks each for these posters, or you can get like a five or six, I think. I got six, so I'm guessing six for 20, unless I got six on mistake and uh, I ripped off the person. But uh, whatever, it was like five or six for 20, or just five each. So I got six posters, and... They're really high quality. The thing is, is that I don't really like that they have these white borders, which you'll see in a second. But uh, the first one I got was this Wolverine one, which is a Japanese one, which I thought was really cool. Uh, Samurai, it says. It doesn't even say Wolverine. <laughs> it might say it in Japanese, but it doesn't even say Wolverine. It just says Samurai. Oh. And uh, you know what? Mini rant. I didn't watch Wolverine, I mean, I, I, didn't watch, I didn't watch it, no, I didn't see it, no, I didn't, I went to watch Wolverine, and I was a little disappointed that I didn't see Wolverine, that's what I meant to say, with a sword, like, look at this, he has a sword, right? You don't really see him with a sword, I mean, his, his claws, that's about it, but you don't see him with a sword, I don't like that, I want to see uh, more sword action, I mean, it wouldn't make sense, but you know what? I just want to see him with a sword, that wouldn't cool, like, one, one hand, one sword, and the other hand, the claws, come on. That would be cool. Uh, next one was a Walking Dead one, which is really cool. It's a comic style version of the Walking Dead, the TV show. Uh, so here you go. Really cool looking. Got all the characters. You got Walking Dead. 
So this is a comic version of the main characters of the TV show, not the comic itself. So, at least I don't think so, because there's some characters there that are only in the TV show, and there's a lot of characters here that are in the, in the comics, but they look like they're TV versions. So, I'm guessing that's what it is. I don't know, whatever. It was really cool. This one is actually awesome. This one's a Captain America one, which is a... <laughs> awesome because he's punching Hitler and it looks very old-fashioned which was perfect for a movie like this so uh, uh, Captain America what does it say the first Avenger uh, this one's really awesome awesome you know whatever punching Hitler but that was really cool the this one is for the last of us which I think this one's a really cool one I wish I got more last of us stuff but they didn't really have too much um, this one it shows you got uh, Joel up there. He's just like, you know, whatever. And then you got Ellie. She's all like, I'm blowing dudes head off. Yeah. And uh, you got a bunch of messy stuff happening. It's all destructive and stuff. You know, whatever. You know, it's Last of Us. You played it. That's an awesome poster. So there you go. And the next two are actually Breaking Bad ones. I tried to really search out for... Well, look out. I, I, I was trying to look out for all the, you know, not posters like you see a movie poster and you've seen that one before. You know, not, not typical movie posters or like pieces of art that we've seen millions of times for whatever TV show and game it's supposed to be for. Um, I tried to look out for, you know, stuff like I've been showing you, like really cool pieces of art. But this one I had to get for Breaking Bad because, I don't know, I, I just thought it would be perfect because it shows all, all of the major characters of, I think, Season 3? Yeah, season three, I think. Or season four, actually. It might have been season four. I can't remember. I've, I watched all of season one to four in, like, pretty much a, a span of a week. So, it, I can't really quite remember exactly. But here you go. It shows all the characters. I think this is season three. I'm pretty sure it's season three. It might be season four, though. Uh, actually, think about it. It's, I don't know. Fuck it. Someone's going to tell me. No, actually, it's season four. Uh, Gore, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> fucking retard. So, uh, <laughs> this one I thought was really cool because, uh, hey, it's a, it's a, it's a quote. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. You got, uh, yeah, you got him. Uh, you got, uh, Walter White and his little whatever. And it's blue. It says apply yourself. There you go. thought that one was awesome. There you go. Not much to say about that one. I thought that one was really cool. I had to get that one. So uh, that was all the posters I got from that place. But I did get more posters. I got a couple of uh, hand me, uh, hand me posters, I guess you could say, which is just you know like, hey, here, have a poster, thanks. Uh, and I got a couple of those. Um, the first one was for a magnet movie, which I mentioned magnet earlier, which is the ABCs of Death. I mentioned this movie earlier too. Uh, which I will be reviewing for the month of Gore, so look out for this. I will be having more reviews for the month of Gore, so look out for all those. Uh, so, ABCs of Death. There you go. Uh, this is another movie I want to see, uh, but I'm not really sure this would count for a horror film. I heard it's very scary, but it's more of a science fiction movie. This is Europa Report, which I heard is very good. Really good, actually. Uh, this came out, I think, the same time as Elysium, and a lot of people were surprised to say that this movie is actually better than Elysium. Now, I love Elysium, my you know, personally, but uh, I re I'm really looking forward to seeing this Europa Report. And this one, I went to the Nintendo booth and I was like looking at Bayonetta 2 gameplay, and I, I got handed this poster, which was for Pokemon XY. There you go, it's a little messed up, but uh. Don't really know what's going on on it. Let me look real quick. All right, got the the Pokemon that's on the front cover of X, and I guess the Pokemon that's on the front cover of Y, doing something. Not really sure. So there you go. Whatever. So there you go. Uh, that was the the hand me posters, I guess, the ones that they just handed me. Like here you go, poster. Uh, I I think that's about it for all those. Uh, that's pretty much it for the posters. Not really. Yeah, that's about it for the posters. Now I still have some art to show you that I got at the Comic Con and some other really cool things. 
Oh boy, I got a lot of stuff. Okay, let's show off this because I got a bunch of really cool comics. And, oh, I actually have one other poster. Oops. One other poster. This is uh, for, what the fuck is this? You get it? Do you get it? You get it? Get it? I don't know what this is. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't get it. Um, alright, so, I, I, Jesus Christ, I should have, I should have organized this stuff. I still have more stuff to show you. Here you go, here's Lovecraft P.I., which, uh, I, didn't, I don't even remember this. Uh, but that's actually a really cool title. What is this? Huh. Lovecraft P.I. A Lovecraft Paranormal Investigator. That's actually a really cool idea. I didn't even notice I got this. I would have totally got that. Uh, so, as a Kickstarter, I, I, I would say go and support that just because of the name. It might not be very good. But there you go. Paranormal Investigator of Lovecraft stuff. That's really cool. Didn't even know I got that. Next, I got a comic for Thor, which I think it's a preview thing, so don't know if it's even a real comic book. No, it is. No, wait. I don't know. Now it has Com Captain America. I'm confused. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, this, uh, this is a uh, a Captain America one, I guess. It says Captain America. Let's see, uh... What the fuck am I looking at? Okay. The Hulk. I'm confused. Uh... Uh, here's Hulk. Most likely if I open this one, it's probably gonna have, I don't know, Iron Man. No, this one has Hulk. I'm very surprised. Actually, I think I, I got this book... Yeah, I did. It says Free Comic Book Day. I was about to say, I think I got this comic book already. I did. It's... It was the one you can get for free comic book day. There you go. I got this one, which I don't really know what this is, uh, but I got it anyway uh, because they were handing it out. So I was just like, eh, whatever. Uh, this is Prey, which uh, has a very cool comic book look to it. The actual comic book itself is very uh, very sturdy, if that makes any sense. All the other ones were like very like you know flippy floppy around because it's not made very well. This one. Very, very sturdy, I guess I could say. I don't, I don't know what else. But, uh, actually looks really cool. I don't know. I guess this guy's name, name is Prey. I don't know. It looks like the main character of The Darkness. So, maybe that was a, uh, inspiration. Uh, actually it looks like maybe the, uh, not The Grudge, what the fuck? Uh, The Crow. <laughs> I don't know why, where I got The Grudge from. The Crow, maybe. Uh, here's the back. That one was cool. Uh, I thought it looked cool. Um, and this one is actually a comic book I got from a, a bunch of guys that actually did a couple of commissions for me, which if you don't know, if you, you know, they were artists, so I asked them to do a couple of commissions for me, and they gave me this comic book for free, it was called Shadow Tracers, they even signed it, this is from Rare Earth Comics, I think, yeah, it says right there, uh, no, actually it doesn't really, actually yeah, it does right, right there, Rare Earth Comics, Shadow Tracers. I read it. It's actually pretty decent. It has a funny little comic in the back about Godzilla. I don't know. Kind of cool. I, I, I read through it. It was pretty cool. Um, not bad. And I got a couple of commissions, like I said. So let me show you those, seeing that I mentioned them. They are both for Bioshock Infinite. Again, because they, they stopped me while I was walking and said, Hey, you, we're doing commissions really cheap. Like, I think 20 bucks for one, 15 bucks for another, or something like that. You know, different versions of commissions. Like, hey, you want a headshot? 15 bucks. 20, I think 20, 25 bucks for a full figure or whatnot. And I was like, you know what? That's actually a cool idea because I've been getting all these pieces of art that aren't really special. You know, I mean, they're special, don't get me wrong, but, you know, they probably sold a bunch of the same ones. If I get a commission, then even if they do another commission that's a, the exact same photo, it won't look exactly the same, if you understand what I'm trying to say. So I was like, you know what, fine. Give Bioshock Infinite. Uh, the main character, Elizabeth, do that, because uh, 
I, I love Elizabeth. So uh, they did two of them. I was like, you know what? Do one that's a full body and then do one that's a headshot. And they did one that's a full body, which I think this one's awesome looking because it's not like, oh, she's, a, she's hot and shit. No, this one's like fucking, she will kill you. I love this one. If you can see it good. Uh, she's, uh, it looks like she's conjuring up a storm, but she's actually ripping a tear through the, the thing or whatnot. Can you see it good? Here's her face. She's all like, I'm pissed. Here's a, she's ripping tears, whatnot. But this one's actually kind of awesome if you get to see it in person. It's actually a really cool one. I really like this one. It grew on me because at first I was like, I don't know, the face, she kind of looks really pissed. But I'm like, you know what? I like that. I like this one. I'm going to frame that one. Really cool. Now this one, I didn't love, but I, I'm getting a little bit used to it. I don't know. This one's okay. I, I, I told them to pick any images they wanted and this one I told them to pick uh, for the for uh, the headshot I told them to pick out of three available pictures that I uh, like I picked three of them and I said hey you do whatever one you want I don't care and they picked of course the one uh, with the huge bust which I that's what they picked not me I picked that as one of the three but I had other two that weren't and they picked the one with the huge bust which is this one there's her face she's all like Durr. And there you go. So that's that one. They're both really good, especially since, you know, they're original. So there you go. I like that one too. I'll probably frame it also. But I like the first one more. Which makes sense seeing that I paid more money for that. Okay. So I went to another place which had a bunch of art. And this this one, um, oh, I'm missing something here. Okay, I'm, I'm, missing, I'm missing one. Uh-oh. Give me one second. Ugh. I'm missing one. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Found it. All right. Not prepared for this. Not even a little bit. Ah, so, this place had uh, a whole bin of three for ten pieces of art. You know, three. Pick three for ten bucks. And I was like, okay, I'll look. First one I found, which I really wanted because it looked awesome, which is this one is... A, you can't really tell until you look at it a little bit more, but it's a predator killing an alien, which if you know me, I love both predator and alien. And even though I don't really like the alien versus predator movies, I really like the concept of the alien versus the predator because they're two of the best alien creatures in, you know, movies, even if the last two uh, alien versus predator movies sucked. The last two Alien movies, I mean, last two Alien and Predator, I'm sorry, the last Alien and Predator movies were pretty good, if you count Prometheus as an Alien movie, like I do. Um, so, this one's pretty awesome, I really like this. Uh, next two, I got, one of them is another Bioshock Infinite related one, <laughs> which I didn't even think they would have Bioshock Infinite ones, but I had to get this one because I have one of, you know, Elizabeth, one that has Booker in it, one that has the Lutest twins and whatnot. Uh, I couldn't find any ones that just had Booker, which makes sense seeing that Booker, you barely see him in the game unless you see him, you know, unless you have a poster of the front of the cover or whatnot. You never really see Booker. You see everybody else more than Booker, definitely. But uh, I got this one, which was another picture of the Lutest twins. And this one looks a little weird because uh, I don't know what they're doing there. I'm not really sure. They're twins. They're don't, I don't know what they're doing. What are you What are you doing? Don't do that. But uh, I had to get it anyway because it's Bioshock. And I thought it was really cool looking. So we got that. And then I got this one which is Hellboy. And I thought this was really cool because it's Hellboy. Don't have any pieces of art for Hellboy. And I thought it was really cool looking. There you go. And the last thing I got, this is the last thing. I'm done after this, okay? The last thing I got, Jerry the King Lawler, if you do not know, was there at New York Comic Con. There was a lot of people there, but Jerry the King Lawler is one of my favorite, not really wrestlers, but he is my favorite announcer for any sport whatsoever because I just, I love that dude. I, I wasn't really alive back then when he was a wrestler, but I was alive to watch WWE or WWF wrestling. Uh, if you don't know who Jerry the King Lawler is, uh, I'm talking to the people that do know who he is. Uh, Jerry Jerry Lawler was a wrestler who turned into a you know a wrestling announcer. 
uh, you know, commentator. And, you know, there's occasional times here and there where he, where he will fight again. But for the most part, he's just an announcer. And he is probably one of my favorite announcers ever. He just has so much charisma. I love that dude. He's very funny. He was there. 20 bucks. I got his autograph. And here it is. There you go. To my pal Chris. I'm, I'm friends with Jerry the King Lawler. You're not. <laughs> he probably doesn't remember, it, remember me anyway. Uh, Jerry the King Lawler. WWE HOF 07 Hall of Fame 07 so there you go I got Jerry the King Lawler autograph what up what up motherfuckers yeah I'm the best um so that was really cool I wasn't even expecting to see him uh, I knew he was there but I wasn't even expecting to pass him by but then I just like randomly did I was like oh waiting on that line uh, so it was really awesome. So there you go. That's actually probably my favorite thing I got there. Even though all the Bioshock stuff and all the other things are really cool, it's probably my favorite thing I got there. Really awesome. One of my favorite commentators of all time. Just love them. So there you go. There is my New York Comic Con. What I got. What I did there, I didn't really talk about. Uh, I should have. Um, let me talk about it real quick, okay? First day, I didn't really do much. I just, you know, I walked around. I saw a lot of really cool stuff. Took some footage and whatnot. Didn't really do much. I tried to get into the IGN panel for Grand Theft Auto V, but it did not work out very well. Uh, it's very hard to find those uh, panels because there's so many different, uh, so many different uh, stages or whatever the hell they call them. These rooms that you go into for the panels. There's so many, and uh, I found it, but I was there way too late, and I did not get in, sadly. Um, and I heard that was an awesome panel, so good. If you don't know, it was a uh, pretty much a panel with. The IGN guys, and then you had uh, the guy who played Trevor, the guy who played Michael, and the guy who played Franklin. And there's a clip right now on YouTube of the guy who played Trevor, Stephen Ogg, actually going up to someone and just yelling, just getting up in the camera and going, Go fuck yourself! So, that, I thought that was... A, let me uh, fix my camera now. Okay. So, uh, I thought that was really awesome. Uh, I really wish I was there, but right now you can watch the whole thing on their website. Um, so I missed that, but I had a good old time at, uh, on Friday. Um, Saturday, uh, at first, I wasn't having a good time because I was trying to get into the panel for, what was it? Uh, oh, I forgot. Uh, I was trying to get into a panel for something, but it didn't work out, and I didn't get into the panel, which really pissed me off because it was the second time I tried, and I did not get into it. So that sucked. Um, I can't remember what it was. What was it I tried to get into? Damn, well, it wasn't that important, obviously. But uh, I, it really pissed me off. My legs were already killing me. Didn't have much sleep. So I was pissed for the first two hours of that day. Then I got up. I was like, all right, I'm going to have fun. Then I walked around, looked at more stuff, went to the artist alley, which is awesome. The artist alley is so cool. I, I, I never been there the last two years. Went there this year. It's really awesome. Just a bunch of people with a bunch of comic art and stuff and people you know, like drawing right there. If you could watch them draw. It was really awesome. I thought that place was really cool. Got out of there, walked around. I explored a lot. Looked at a lot of really cool booths. Uh, it was really fun for the rest of the time. So didn't get to see that panel, whatever it was. But uh, I had a good time. Now Sunday, um, I did get to go to a panel. Now... They were having one for The Hobbit, but the thing is, I didn't go to that one because I was afraid I was going to be so technical about the book, uh, The Hobbit, because they, they even explained in this Hobbit panel that it's going to get very technical and stuff. We're going to talk about the books, and I never read the books, and I didn't want them to spoil shit, so I just didn't go there. Sadly, I should have because I, I was right, I, was, I went to a different panel for something else and I was right next to them and they were having a good old time, yelling, screaming. Uh, you could hear like uh, they were uh, showing clips of the movie and a couple of trailers. They were having a good time, cars. Um, but they were having a good time. I wish I went there because the panel I went to go to was the All You Need Is Kill adapting an adaptation panel which is uh if you don't know all you need is kill is a brand new movie coming out starring tom cruise it's now called edge of time i mean i'm sorry edge of tomorrow um and uh what was i saying people are trying to talk to me i'm making a video uh i think i, I went to that and it, it was based on a movie it's a, uh, let me start over okay because people talk to me um i went to a panel called all you need is kill which is 
a new movie based on a manga or a novel or something. And I went there and it was very boring, to be honest. It was very, like, information-based. It wasn't very entertaining. And I was right next to a freaking booth where, I mean, right next to the panel where they were having a good old time next door. It kind of pissed me off. So I was like, ah, oh, that sucks. But you know what? I was like, all right, fine. I'm looking forward to the movie Edge of Tomorrow with Tom Cruise. So I went to this p panel just expecting them to kind of build me up into the, you know, getting excited. And it didn't really do that for me. But uh, whatever. Um, now, the next thing I did after that, I left. I went to the autographing uh, section. I saw Ernie Hudson, which was awesome uh, because I love Ernie Hudson. Of course, the, you know, the black Ghostbuster, I guess you could say. Or Winston, uh, if you watched it, if you actually watched the movies. Um... Uh, he was there. That was a pretty cool uh, autographing place. Was really packed. I was like, "All right, I'm out of here." I went back to the just the main stage, the block as they call it. I uh, had a good time looking for more stuff. Bought a lot of uh, more things, and then I left. And I had a good time. I just, you know, I walked around a lot. I explored, saw really cool things. Met up with a couple of my friends. Met up with a couple of YouTubers. I met up with a technology dude, um, which is a YouTuber, uh, and he was cool. Now, I was going to do a Saturday meetup, and I did. The thing is, is that uh, at 2 o'clock when, when I uh, wanted to do it, I, I got there a little bit late, and I did not meet up with anybody. Now, if there was anybody there to begin with, I'm not sure, but uh, I got there late, so that kind of sucked. So I didn't meet anybody at the 2 o'clock Saturday meetup. But, um, yeah. So overall, I had a good I had a good time at New York Comic Con. I'm getting real tired. My 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 throat is just sore as hell from talking for about what like 30 minutes now. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. I got a lot of stuff there. I had a good old time, and I'll be there again next year. So <sighs> there you go. There you go. There's my uh, video for what I got and what I did at New York Comic Con. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye.